Okay, uh, Dr. Cook back, and we're going to be looking at part two of our Agadab walkthrough of how we do our concept sketch. All right, as a reminder, here's the little map of our scenario and our platoon mission statement that first platoon attacks to breach an enemy minefield vicinity of phase line granite in order to allow freedom maneuver for 166 armor to move through the gap and then attack a logistics hub to the east. Um, now, last video, we went through the first five steps of Agadab. So these are just kind of shown here of our uh, relative combat power that we've chosen to do a penetration, um, how we've laid out our forces, arrayed them, and um, set our phases and selected our leadership. Okay, so now we get our battle book page where we're going to do our COA statement and sketch, and we can drive on with our sketch. All right, so here's the page out of the battle book. <clears throat> And um, we need to do both our sketch and our statement. <clears throat> now for this, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and just start with uh, the sketch. Now, um, we know that we're going to start out in our assembly area. All right. So we can go ahead and draw that up here at the top of the page. And I want to leave uh, quite a bit of room uh, down here to show what's going to happen for actions on the objective. Remember the COA sketch isn't to scale. Um, but we're going to need uh, some kind of line of departure. We know that's going to happen. All right, and we're going to leave from the uh, assembly area and we're going to move to an ORP, right? So we've got to put our ORP on here. Um, and since that's going to be a movement, there's going to be an axis to get us there. All right. And um, thinking through this, there's probably some phase line here, right? Because we're going to spend phase one in the assembly area, phase two moving to the ORP, and then phase three is all going to happen in the ORP. So there's probably a phase line here because we're going to act differently at that point. Um, now, uh, from this, just thinking about my mission, um, I'm going to come down here and kind of do actions on the objective. Now, uh, usually we don't, we don't want to show terrain on the COA sketch, right? So I'm not worried about, is this route actually straight or what hills or streams might be here? Um, but there is, it's not a hard rule that you can't, you should include Key, if there's any key kinds of terrain that are important to showing the COA sketch and making it make sense. Um, so if there was a bridge and it was an important thing um, that you're you're dealing with, you might want to show that. Um, but if it's just you're crossing a bridge as part of your movement, you probably don't. So uh, in this case, um, I do have, um, I want to show that we've got this minefield because that's important. All right. And I think for this mission, um, you know, if we come over here and look at our map, right, so we've got our minefield. Um, the fact that there's enemy on this uh, ridge um, in the out here and enemy up on this spur over here, I think that is important, right, that they're that they're up on those hilltops and that this uh, minefield is in a gap between these two hills. So I am going to go ahead and show... Um, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. I just want to give the impression that, hey, there, there is uh, these ridges here that are separating uh, the gap for this minefield, okay? Because that, that is important to what we're doing in this case. Um, so we've got the, our, our uh, operation here. Um, now I'm going to want to think about what are my tasks to subordinate units, right? So I know that I've got uh, one of my units is going to be conducting a breach operation on the minefield. So I've got a tactical task symbol for breach that has to go there. Um, and I can bring in my map and think about what we're doing. So this enemy over on the north. Uh, we said that we were going to be trying to suppress them to keep them from interfering. So I'm going to go ahead and add that suppression symbol, tactical task, right there. 
we said the anti-tank team on the south ridge that we were going to be trying to destroy them remember that's solid lines on the destroy and dash lines on the suppress all right and then i know that uh there's this screen line out over here and we're going to be sending a force to try and fix them so that they don't come up and interfere with us so i got to get my fixing tactical task and i need to show kind of where that happens so here's all my breach operation um and and i understand as i come from the orp uh you know the breach is in the middle and i've got the suppress and the destroy on on each side um but i gotta so i gotta show the fix somewhere over here um so i can just uh turn the page and give my fix symbol where that's going to happen all right so i've got my tactical tasks on here now i gotta think about how do i get from the orp uh, out to these um positions right and how do i want to do that now um I'm probably going to have this fixing force because it's it's just so far out there, right? And this is a small map, so this here's here's a hundred meter scale. You know, this is only a couple hundred meters to this hill, right? Like this isn't our assembly area is way off this map. This is zoomed in on the objective. Um, so our fixing force is probably going to have to move around somewhere separate from the three elements that are going to attack the the breach itself. I'm probably going to send them. I'm going to plan to send them out of the ORP. So I want to show that um, they're going to have to leave the ORP and swing wide on this side to get to their location. All right, so go ahead and show that. So now uh, we understand one team is going to move, or well, it's a squad, but one element is going to move all the way around to do this fixing operation. Um, now, then I think about what I want to do with these. Now, my ta I don't have a support by fire task or... or um, we're not seizing terrain where I've got a, a support element and then a um, moving assault element. We've just got three tasks that go on with this. And I think what I want to do is have them um, probably all initiate out of the same uh, attack position. So our ORP, we're going to occupy that. We're going to set up a perimeter. We're going to be there a while as we do some other things. Um, when we're ready, we're going to move up into our assault position. Uh, which is our last covered and concealed position before we initiate the attack. Um, and just looking at this map, that's probably somewhere maybe behind this hill or in this wood line here. Um, if I start to come out much further, I can't go out in the middle of the open. They'll see us and we're in range, right? But if, if we just kind of get up behind this hill, we're, we're kind of just out of um, rifle range at least, protected by the hill, um, maybe we can sneak ourselves into the wood line um, and make movement out of there, but all three elements are probably coming out of that same assault position, all right? So I need to show my assault position, um, ASLT, and it probably needs some kind of name to it. Maybe we'll give it a name. I don't know. Um, so we show our assault position, assembly area, ORP, and then to the assault position. Um, so I can just go ahead and show that movement. Uh, into the assault position all right um, and then from there we understand that assault position is going to move out uh, to these we don't really need to show a route because it's just a big open clearing um, squad leaders will choose how that you know maybe move through the wood line here how we want to set up uh, our suppressive fire um, we'll probably be right off that hill but this is where we're going to go for those all right so I've got some idea of what the plan is here um, now I gotta think about some other things so we start phase one in the assembly area. We cross our LD uh, phase line. Here's phase two movement. Cross a phase line into the ORP for phase three. What's going on in phase three? Well, we also have to do some kind of leader's recon. Now, I need to understand, um, you know, am I going to the left or am I going to the right, uh, you know, or, or something like that for my, my leader's recon. I don't need an actual map, but I should think about it. Now, maybe I'm going to, you know, if I come on... Uh, the south side here, um, if you know we're approaching from the west. If I come on the south, there's a lot of wood lines here. It looks like the other hills. If I look at the larger map, and um, you know that's probably, you know, it, it might have good cover and concealment, but I'm not going to be able to see very well. Um, but with this big open area, if I can either get 
just on the the back side of this hill and get up to the military crest um i could see this entire objective or maybe there's on the larger map there's some hilltops over here some other terrain and this is a wide open view so i can be at distance um if i come out here i can be at distance seeing into all th uh, this entire area where all three of my main elements are going to go. All right, I'm not going to be able to get into this uh, screen line. So it's probably somewhere on this side of the map, right? So over on the north side here. So I'm going to say that we're going to have to kick out into an observation post and there's going to be some kind of route that I'll find on the larger map that will get me there. All right. Uh, now when we move into the assault position, all of this is going to be phase four actions on the objective and I probably need to define a phase line all right so we should put a phase line there okay um, and part of developing these phase lines is I'm going to give my soldiers not just that that we're going to be in a certain phase and that helps us know when we cross but um, there's going to be different criteria to maybe different rules of engagement different weapon statuses as we move through this and part of it is as we're doing this recon as we're getting our things ready in the ORP um, scouting out routes, I might tell my soldiers, hey, nobody goes forward of this phase line uh, until we initiate the attack. Or um, nobody, you know, once you go forward of this phase line, you must be in, you know, tactical formations, uh, minimum squad size elements, and you got to have, um, you know, weapons in red status, uh, or however we've labeled those statuses, um, you know ready to go uh and in this area we can do things like eat chow and um you know have a have a buddy guard your weapon while you go to the bathroom and things like that right um and then back here is is kind of administrative movement right so we're moving um but anything north uh anything past this phase line is going to be straight up tactical maneuver right so that's why we're using some phase lines to develop this um all right uh so we've we've done that much now, our last thing is, um, where's our LOA, <laughs> right? Now, we don't want to, you know, uh, take out the enemy on these hills and get the breach open and just keep charging past, right? Because <laughs> that's not our job. That's someone else's job. So we're going to have to have some kind of limit of advance right behind, um, you know, right behind this. And on the actual map, we'll figure out where it is, LOA. Now, on a lot of situations if this is just some kind of objective i can just put an loa and it goes all the way across but i've got a problem here um so if i'm thinking about the real map and i want my loa you know on these three elements you know hey open the breach and kind of stop there right we're not pushing deep um but i've got another element that i've swung around to deal with wherever this screen line is um i don't want them pushing out into this clearing because uh, then they potentially become a fratricide risk from here i want them to fix this element there they need to stay over here somewhere. So there's probably a dog-legged LOA because they need a limit of advance also. Um, remember that fix is, a, is an enemy-oriented tactical symbol that goes where the fixing occurs on the enemy, not where the friendly unit is. So I can go ahead and, and just show that I've got an LOA um, that kind of cuts across here, right? Um, so I'm going to show that LOA. Um, not really doctrinal, but I might go ahead and label this point just so i understand that these are loas um so i got an loa on the maneuver element that's doing the fixing i've got an loa on my three uh main assault elements here all right um so that pretty much finishes uh my sketch except i gotta i gotta fill in some details here so um you know our assembly area was probably already named i don't know what it was named um you know, uh, you know, maybe, maybe this was uh, assembly area black, right? They already told us that, um, and I, then I got to think about my my phase lines. Um, so maybe, uh, and you can name them however you want, but um, I might just call this phase line red, phase line white. All right, white, red. Um, and assault positions are usually named, so let's just go ahead and call that uh, assault position blue, right? So we start out in black, uh, it's our assembly area, and then we're going to move to, we're going to cross red, we're going to cross white, we're going to be in position on blue, and we've got an LOA. Um, okay, 
Now, uh, if we were doing some kind of seizure where we had a support by fire and element moving across, we have to think about phase lines that just went on the objective. In this case, we're all kind of going the same direction except this fixing element. So fratricide wise, um, you know, I, I don't have to worry about phase lines, uh, you know, controlling movement. We're all kind of going the same direction um, on the scheme of maneuver overlays. I'll show TRPs to try and control their sectors of fire. Um, it's really just this element over here that we need to be worried about. But um, if I've given them an LOA not to move past, uh, that'll keep them out of here. And on the actual map, I can think about target reference points and other control measures to prevent their fratricide. But as long as they stay behind uh, their limit of advance, um, we think we can work with that. All right, so that completes the sketch. Uh, all right, so after I put this all together, I realized I made a mistake and I left something out of the COA sketch. All right, you got to show the objective, right? So we've got the assembly area, the ORP, uh, any assault positions, support by fire position, things like that. And then the objective itself that you're trying to hit needs to be on there. So when you talk about it, people know what it is, all right? So here, um, it shouldn't be in red. It should be, you know, in, in, in uh, pencil like the rest of this, but I highlighted it in red just so you could see that the corrections there. It should have an objective and show that those items are on our objective. All right, now you can go check out uh, part three and we'll walk through how I write out the concept statement.